I guess closure is like forgiveness. My mother and I were on polar opposite sides of the same handlebars. However, at some point, I think me and my mom, we managed to grab those bars and haul ourselves to the middle bar and hold on for dear life. Even if we just stared into each other's faces and smiled. To us, having some sort of middle ground was progress. And it was worth it just to have that progress. This closure allowed healing to take place and moved me leaps and bounds in my struggle with mental illness. I can now say I'm much better than I was. I've opened a new chapter, closing an old one, and I thrive even more. I would like to have teachable moments, takeaways, that I can present to others as suggestions to practice what I preach and apply. This is what I do. I have so much in life, and I have a fulfilled life at that. I had to stop and evaluate, evaluate life, my life. I had to stop and figure out what's the purpose and what I should be doing at this point now. I've had tragedy happen to me so badly. I've had experienced life-threatening tragedy that could have ended my life, but now I have the coping mechanism and techniques in place. I'm ready to thrive and show the next page of my life. What should I be doing? Self-assessments is the bravest thing I can do. Saying to yourself, I need help, I don't care how it looks, but it's the truth, I need help. Here's where the holistic approach comes in and sharing that approach. I'm teaching someone else through actions and through words. I believe you. I have to be someone who has gone through experience and dealt with it, to be aware of it. Now it's time to thrive and live, demonstrating to others dealing with mental illness. You can make it, go for it, thrive for it, and live for it. I may never be rid of my mental illness, but I'm still thriving with it, keeping a balanced mind. This is my life message. This started with a seven-year-old searching for love because of one statement by her mother that led her to believe she was not even loved in her own home. From there, a casual path led me to a spiral that was horrific and never to be forgotten. Nevertheless, now I thrive. The coping mechanisms and techniques I apply every day have taken my life to another level of living and understanding my worth. Me, nor anyone else. I'm worth it. I'm worth it for me, I'm worth it for my family, and I'm worth it for others who suffer just like me. We have potential to be anything we want to be with mental illness. It is not a stop barrier. It won't prevent you from living your dreams or following your heart. The sky is not our limit. Once we move people out of our way, we can reach for beyond the sky. We can create whatever we want to create.